Greetings, fellow zombie slayers. Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to Project Zomboid Nomad, episode 44, Gun Nut. Alright, so I think the way I'm going to pose the poll question here is uh, what sort of supplies to grab tomorrow night? Guns and ammo, food car parts. It really just comes down to that, right? So what do you think it should be? Tis up to you. For the car parts that are missing, it's mostly just roof racks. Uh, this Jeep, other than the, the roof lights, is fully mounted up. There's nothing else that I lack, as far as I'm aware. Uh, the same, too, is true for the truck. It is completely modded up, except for roof lights. In terms of guns and ammo, I have a little bit, but quite not that much, because I haven't really made a point of grabbing guns or ammo. Oh, I left the generator? Ah, oh, it's fine. Don't forget extra clothes? Um, I could grab extra clothes. I suppose I could add to this bowl. That generator can just... Uh, Join the Gigabart. I don't have time left in the night light to go back for it and then make it back to the outpost anyway. Oh. Hang on a minute. What you got? Camo hat, backpack with two maps, shotgun shells, and carrots in it. Oh, I'll have some canned carrots. I feel like I just mugged the dude. I think he was probably another nomad if he had Louisville maps. Oh, and it's a section I didn't have. I think. Uh, all right, open window. Out the window, and close window. Updating my markings. So we have got a cleared building, and then also a generator. And then, yep, that was a section of Louisville that I didn't have. So we're missing one and two. Two more. Yeah, I did pull over and just gank him. And you know what? I'd do it again. I got a map. Does that make me Negan? Maybe it does. Actually, I don't think Negan would be running errands for a community. It's my carrots now. I'll hide the evidence. Yoink. <laughs> I love how you have to roll down the window to throw things out the window now. It used to be that you could just toss them out the window and you didn't have to roll it down, but now the whole rolling it is required. Kind of looked like that guy had a katana in him. He didn't. Just wanted to make sure. So it looks like you all want me to go get guns and ammo. The first logical spot for that would be in Maldra. So that will be my first stop. 
to hit Maldra's police station. And I'm trying to think if there's other gun stores in Maldra. I can't think of one off the top of my head. I know Louisville has certainly a lot, but I'm not headed back to Louisville. That place is hell. I have two hours and change left. All right, guns and ammo. Let me update the goal. And puppy treat. Hey, buddy. Yeah, there is the army surplus supplies uh, that is northwest, but it's pretty considerably northwest of um, Rosewood. Like it's, it's well outside of Rosewood. It's nearly at the edge of the map tile. Um, I could head there as well. I would definitely start with Muldra though, because it's a hundred times closer. Hey, Louis. Welcome to your first stream. From binging on YouTube. If only there was an easy way for me to ask. Hey, show of hands. <laughs> who, who also can say they're here for their first or s one of the more most um, one of the only reasons they come to Twitch is because they binge on YouTube. It is a common story. <laughs> but I appreciate it. I appreciate the support. And I hope the benefits of being able to tell me what to do when you say jump, I ask how high, is appreciated. It's fun. It's it's sort of um, it's sort of as close to co-streaming as I can get with my get current schedule. <laughs> Actually, just today, uh, Twitch updated their terms of service to allow streamers like me um, to stream on YouTube if I wish. It, previously, I was uh, contractually um, not allowed to do that. Not to say that I want to go to YouTube necessarily. I prefer it on Twitch. I like all of its features. It has a really good culture. Um, it has a lot of... Uh, a lot of tools for me to be able to interact with all of you with pollings and predictions and all that kind of stuff that just YouTube does not have and I would lose a lot of the engagement if I did do that I prefer not to lose that engagement okay so it's still nominal do I have to take like a crowbar to the uh take a crowbar to uh the broadcast system to make sure that it does break. So let's start getting this stuff into the truck. Yeah, I actually started off live streaming to YouTube and I just really didn't like it. Um, this was back in like 2018. Uh, I know things have come a long way since then, but I didn't care for it then. I can't imagine I'd feel all that different now. For every other platform right now that you can stream on, um, live streaming is kind of an afterthought. Like you can, well, there used to be Mixer, which was dedicated for, for you know, st streaming. But Facebook and YouTube don't primarily do live streams. So it's kind of not their main gig and they're not tooled for it. Whereas, uh, whereas... Twitch is all about live streaming and it's custom tailored to live streaming and that's why it I'm not saying Twitch is perfect but it's leagues ahead of the other platforms in terms of what it offers as a product to both you and me lard one thing I kind of wish that they would introduce is 
uh, favoriting for vehicles or for uh, not your own personal inventory. Like, I would love to be able to just hit loot all, but then inevitably I would get gas cans and lug wrenches and sledgehammers and I'd have to pluck them out and it'd be really annoying. I wish the game would just be like, oh yeah, we'll leave this in there. Like, we won't move it for you. So, the long-range vehicle percent for stockpile is like 75, let's call it. And it's going up. It's going up. I'm not going to have a lot, of, lot more room. I might have to take out some water coolers. And instruct my home community, don't get thirsty. You won't get fed. I mean, watered, whatever. How many kilo? Do, does anyone know? I should have taken note of what the truck's weight at was when I left. Because I feel like I just added... Well, if the roof rack was full, that's like, let's call that 70 kilos. And the back was full, that's another 50. So that's 120 plus these two seats. So that's... Uh, call that 20 a piece. So 140, 160 plus I had some on me. It was almost 200 kilos of food that I just grabbed. If I was to sort of rough estimate. Has Cortland's hospital been raided? It has not. I actually don't have a lot of medical... Uh, supplies. Oh, I have thread in my glove box. Corbett, thank you for resub. And Finarel and Tukul Tiku Lewis, thank you for the, uh, the follows. All right, we're up to almost. Yeah, we're almost full. 8.59. So, 86% full. Let's see. The goal says... Long range vehicles, 84% upgraded and 86% stockpiled. The Jeep is... Oh, you know, that's probably not 78% anymore. Unless I very generously round up a lot. Let's see. It's 77%. It's only locked 1%. It, I did lose about 6% of the bumper, but, you know, not a big deal. Alright, sticking the generator, a new one, into the trunk. Because I left the last one there. Bound to happen eventually. Um, and then, let's see, what can I do for heading to the gun store. So, first things first, let's figure out where I'm headed. So here I am at my outpost, and then the police station is, I think, this build? Let me check the pcmap.net. I think it's that building that I just moused over. No, that's the offices. The police station is the civil community service building. Yes, colored in that lavender, so... That is where we'll head. Okay. And then, um... I don't believe that there really is any other guns or ammo in Muldra. Motel. Yeah. No, I don't think there is. So... Once I am done looting there, we have to figure out where to head to next. So I could go back to Rosewood. There is the Army Quarter um, over by Rosewood. I don't think it's on the map. Oh, maybe it is. So there is an Army Quarter. Let me figure out roughly where it is. 
it's maybe here? There's an army barracks there that I could head to. And that might have some guns. Um, there's obviously the military base, but I do not, given the advanced amount of vegetation that's on the on the roads, I don't want to go uh, back to the army base. And then, and then there's also the army surplus store. Uh, so let me figure out where that might be. So if this is the, the army surplus store, would be. Around there, maybe? Maybe a little bit further out? Uh, what about West Point? West Point has the gun store. There's a gun shop. Um, I think it's this building? Yep, it's that building. I just confirmed. So, yeah, there's a few places I could go. I think what I'll try to do... First things first, I'll go to the police station. That's kind of a no-brainer. Um, so, where to go after the police station? I'll pull for you. So, we could go to the army barracks. The army surplus store. Or West Point gun shop. I think doing two points of interest tomorrow night is reasonable. So you can you can pick the second one. Missed the news report, didn't I? Fine. I will read a book until it comes up again. Yes, there's also the police station in Rosewood. True. I don't think it's likely to have too much stuff. But nor, for that matter, is um, Maldra's police station either. Probably just a, a few guns and a few boxes of ammo. Still Operation Okay, huh? Curse you. Looks like Army Surplus Store is going to be our second POI. Give me a whole bunch of canned beans. All right, off we go. I will find water there. One of my bleach bottles is empty. It is official at the Army Surplus Store. Loot for guns and ammo in Mauled uh, Police Station and Dixie Army Surplus. I think it's 
Is it March Ridge or is it Dixie? I think it's out. That's actually Dixie. I could be wrong. It doesn't matter. I know where it is. I'm going to head to it. But I think that's what the game considers Dixie country. Every movie and game has firearms. PZ doesn't focus on it. I mean, if we're being perfectly honest, um, in a zombie apocalypse, it's not like, let's say there are zombies. Do you really want to be making that much noise? Because if you are in a uh, scenario like James is, where he is outnumbered, a hundred thousand to one is he going to get you know half a million bullets to be able to kill every zombie that he sees that he signals to because that's a lot of zombies that's a lot of bullets I mean I think conservatively even if you are a really good marksman you are not hitting you know zomboid is more about realism right and in real life like in a war situation, only a tiny, 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 tiny fraction of the bullets actually hit the bad guys. Like when you're in a high stress combat environment. You know, the average soldier might fire a thousand rounds and hit no one. Um, and that's kind of normal. So imagine the amount of bullets. And yes, zombies are easier to shoot at than enemy combatants that have guns. But, you know, you can't expect that every zombie takes one bullet to kill and you won't miss. So... On the Zomboid map, there's something to the order of, like, let's say, around 100,000. It's definitely more than 10,000. It's definitely not more than 100,000. So the Fermi has is about 100,000 zombies on the map. Um, maybe 50. I don't know. Whatever. So, some number like that. There's not, there's not even the bullets that spawn in the game that would give you enough ammunition to kill every zombie that exists. Uh, you would run out. So, I think it's very unwise to go guns blazing unless you're very careful about where and when you use them. Because otherwise, you run out of ammo and you signal a megaton horde on your head and die. Alright, we're coming up on the police station. Now, the reason I'm grabbing guns is not for me, it's for the community that James belongs to. So, it's not that... Um, it's not that I'm going to be using them necessarily, it's that I'm going to be supplying them. Um, in a zombie apocalypse, I think guns is far better of a deterrent against other people that want to take your stuff and do you harm than it is to zombies, which you should be able to kill with a crowbar. And boots. Alright, I'm likely... Actually, I don't know if I'm going to need a sledgehammer. I might. I'll take it. And we go. Look at that. My empty water bottle. Problem already fixed. And here we go. Very modest amount of supplies, but uh, more than I had yesterday. And the lights turn off, too. Can we unlock Yoda Cam? Sure. I think that's it. Unless there's, uh... 
house, they have firearms in their lockers. Yep. All right, off to the army surplus. After dumping this. Do I need magazines? Nah, I don't need magazines. Just here for things to go boom. Man, it sounds like it's whipping wind. It is September the 17th in game. Hmm. So if I'm here, I'm trying to figure out the best way. I guess I'll just take the main road down. I haven't actually driven on the main road all the way south yet. That is a, uh, a path I've not yet traveled. So I hope it's clear. I don't know if it is or not. I know that the intersection's car jam, I've mostly dismantled. Yeah, see, here are vehicles I just didn't know about. I'd mark them down, but I usually use the carriage road, so... This is not so important. Holding spacebar. I think because of all the mods that I have on this car, it, like, makes it heavier. My braking distance is pretty bad. Because I held spacebar that whole time, and then it was just slam. So getting up to the army surplus, I am going to drive past um, Rosewood until the highway banks to the right, or towards the northeast. And then once I do... Um, there will eventually be a fork in the road where the highway goes left and then there's like a dirt road or a smaller side road that goes northeast and I'm going to take the northeast side road. The other worry that I have is uh, I'm not going to make it back to outpost because the army surplus store is pretty far away. So I'm not going to make it back home um, tonight. Which is fine. Um, it's, it's pretty empty country out there. So if I have to sleep in the car or find like a barn or whatever, shouldn't be too much of a problem. The other thing that has me worried, or not worried, but the other thing I have to keep in mind is the roads might not be passable. There might be enough vehicle debris to render the highway impassable once I pass March Ridge, because I've never been out this far. So that's the turn for March Ridge that I'd normally take to the left and hopefully the swarms of zombies will thin out a bit as I head out of town 
If I need to sleep the in the car, at least I have bars in the window. True. Yeah, the, the zombies definitely have thinned out. Hundred miles an hour. Actually, I have driven this far because this is the turnoff for the army base. But once I go past the army base turnoff or Zulu turnoff, um, well, then that's different. This is as far as I've gone. Oh, jeez. He looked like a uh, prepper. I saw what looked to be a big bag on him. Am I right? Yep, large backpack. With beef jerky and canned carrots. Man, I just keep stealing people's carrots. Pretty weird highway robbery, but, you know, that's, that's who I am. I'm the Beef Jerky Bandit. The Carrot Con Man. So now I think you get the idea of why I said it's pretty far away. I've been going 110 miles an hour, or something like that. Flooring it. Here's the turn. Kind of an indicator that we're getting close-ish. One thing that I'm curious about is, is my map markers wrong? Uh, no, my map markers could... I think if I was to update, it's going to be here. But my map markers aren't like totally off. They're not outlandishly wrong. It's not so much that I have great gas mileage, it's that I have a massive gas tank. It's like a 60 gallon or a 60 liter gas tank compared to like the standard 20s. That and I do have a snorkel. I wonder if the, the car's snorkel mod uh, improves the um, efficiency. So here is the turnoff that I was talking about. And then I just kind of follow this up. It will take a right turn and a left turn, and eventually it will turn into a dirt road. And when it turns into a dirt road, I know I'm basically there. There's also a car, uh, a car repair shop up this way, too. Um, so there might be some car parts. Maybe. True, yeah, the, the change on the tires going 110 would snap and shred the car to bits. Glad that part isn't uh, realistic. Be really annoying to have to take the chains off every time I want to go above like 35. So here's the right turn. Another thing to keep an eye out for, and I can delegate this a little bit to you guys, is um, keep an eye out for places that I can sleep too. Because. I most assuredly not getting home tonight.
Yeah, maybe I get roof lights off of the uh, the car place. Dumb's the hope. So this building here is a gas station. So if I need gas, uh, I have a generator. And then there's an auto repair place next to the gas station. So I'm going to go there too. Even though I know I'm supposed to be going after weapons. Might as well check auto repair. Shouldn't take too long. Looks like we're dealing with, I don't know, no more than a dozen zombies. Not bad. Cars around here look trash, so I'm not gonna get parts off of them. Ooh, what? Oh, just a bread knife. I was excited for just a second. Come, what? Are you blind? I don't mind if I do. Got some roof lights. Well, okay then. I like that. Ooh, a performance standard tire. One roof light. Better than nothing. Certainly better than the zero that I've received up until this point. Snacks? Oh yeah, lots of snacks. Uh, the bathroom of the auto repair shop wouldn't be a terrible place to sleep if I had to. Seems still the facility is mostly intact. Because it's 5 a.m., I'm losing daylight. I, I'll check the uh, army surplus to see if it's a viable place to, to, to sleep. Our generator's in. And then... Roof. Lights. Rear. And bulb for rear roof light. Well, here we go. So now, when I back up, I can actually see something. That is just the bee's knees. And then the army surplus place is right here on my left. The place with the ropes course out front. Jamieton army surplus.
Now, if I am going to sleep here tonight, I might want to turn off that generator so it doesn't, uh, it doesn't make noise. Just a thought. I'll also turn off my radio. You know what? I'm going to park, uh, I'm going to park back here. So if I have to sledgehammer my way out of the facility, uh, I can get access to my car more easily. Because zombies aren't going to congregate in an empty wall. What's the two-story building across the road? It is a farm... Uh, it's a clothing store and a farming surplus shop and a doctor shop. Come on in. We're open. But not for you. Large backpacks, clothing, tents. I can hear some thumping and bumping back, so there must be a uh, must be zombies in the back. The other thing I'm looking for is a long um, a long leather jacket, if possible. I don't think I'm gonna find it, but you never know. Some really warm clothing here, so if you were ever cold, like if you start in the winter, this would be a good place to hit. Ponchos, which good weatherproofing, if you um, if you're susceptible to uh, sicknesses when you get wet. You, because it sucks to have the cold. In Zomboid, because you'll sneeze a lot. When you sneeze, you signal the everyone. Excuse me. I would like for you to die. You'd love to see a winter start? Yeah, it would be neat. I mean, I saw that you mentioned that on uh, on Discord. So the answer for the health bar is called combat text. So just uh, look at that mod list that I just linked to you and find the one that says combat text. That's a lot of 5.56 five, rounds. One thing that bothers me is, like, the game has a lot of 5.56 five, rounds and gun parts. Oh, no! I take that back. An M16 rifle. Normally, you don't really find those. So, that's cool. They're, they're super, super, super rare. Alright, I have not a whole lot of time until they become enraged and quick. But I don't, I don't think that the, um... Okay, thanks for, the, like, the dramatic pan. I don't know what that was. <laughs> that was weird. Like, combat? Oh, you don't get to fight combat. We're gonna pan away. You're not gonna see anything. Alright, let's let's find that uh let's find that noisy little zombie that's in there. Given the time of day.
and how it's basically let out. I don't really need that on anymore. I can see perfectly fine in here. Okay, I see the zombie. Yeah, I, okay, game, yes. I see the zombie. <laughs> Don't need to scare me for something I've already announced. Alright, not a bad bathroom to hold up. Make my own door. Really? Another jump scare? Come on now. As if I didn't know about him from the first time that you were like, Whoa! Alright, alright. I am alerted, thank you. Oh my goodness. Oh, we have some... Stragglers that I need to clean up before they become way harder to deal with. I don't know how many, um, how many guns of each type I have in the truck already, so I might as well. Grab like one of each type here. So that there isn't a bullet type that I can't fire. This is a lot of ammo though. I am completely encumbered. I don't want to go back to the car at this hour, because it's essentially rage time. So I'll just hole up in that bathroom. I am greedy, though. I'm just going to keep looting. Ooh, a deagle. Really is giving me one of every... So, 223 into 308. You know, I just might be out of carry weight. Eight x scope. Wow. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff here still. What I think I'll do is I'm just going to pile it all up into this box here. And then when I'm ready to go, I can sledge this wall open. And grab the stuff from this box and transfer it to the car. That way uh, I'm not encumbered or anything like that. So consolidating the everything. Yeah, I might want to take a few magazines, you're right. Well, for the revolvers, no. That has a magazine, that's a revolver. Nope, sledge stays on me. I do think I hear... Thought I heard a zombie. Grab the fiberglass stocks, sling, gun light. Gun light? Oh, interesting. A bayonet. Recoil pad, iron sights. Man, these are nice. What is interesting, because uh, I know I don't use a lot of guns while playing PZ, is that um, you can get a, uh, a firearm, you can get a rifle to fire so far that zombies don't even hear the shots. It's possible, and it's funny when you do it. I kind of want to, like, put a bayonet together. Uh, yeah, I'll maybe do that for funsies.
That is a lot of ammo, though. Thank you for tuning in to Project Zomboid Nomad, which originally streamed live on Twitch August 24th. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. If you would like to catch a live stream of mine, Radamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. If you would like to join my gaming community, Radamont.com or the description of this video have a link to Discord. Thank you so very much for watching. A special thank you to my Twitch subscribers, Patreon patrons, and viewers like you that support the channel. I'll catch you next episode or an upcoming stream. Adios, fellow zombie survivors.